home. Hey guys, this is Donald and welcome back to my channel. This outbreak, as we know it, has affected us in so many ways. Negative, bad, ugly, right? On the other hand, it has also given us a lot of time. So, what would you do if you have much of it? Check this video out and see what makes good and bad habits on this tough and difficult time. Staying up late Well, unless you're doing something important the night before It could be a project or an important task that you have to finish That could be a good reason However, if you just played your phone the whole night Or keep on thumbing your phone for your social media Or what, just watching anything online That's a different thing entirely It is fun, yes, but is it good? Mm -mm. Well, it goes without saying, sleeping late the night before equals sleeping in half of the day or the entire day. Good morning, night owl. This time, our eating habits should consist of healthy food and the kitchen should be the busiest place. But as it turned out, it's also the best time to just grab and munch on snacks and easy to get by food. Very convenient, huh? A bowl of chips and TV. Wow, perfect. Hmm, what do they say about airing your dirty laundry? Don't share your dirty secrets in public. Do you make your bed? I don't sometimes. <laughs> if we want to get better, let's begin by eating healthy and right. Well, this is me. I made them. I just wish they taste good as they look. You know what? I sometimes forget that these small things that we usually do in the house, they matter. Small things that we do such as cleaning the floor, shining the shoes, making the bed, and putting things back into order. These small things, these chores, they actually do matter. And as long as you do them consistently and regularly, you can form them into a habit. And you know what they say about habits, good habits. It only takes 21 days for you to form one. So why not start today? I'm actually starting mine one. I'm grabbing the sweep and I'm, start, I'm starting to dust the floor now. Let's do it.
I'm pretty sure people who go to the gym are a bit sad of the situation. But don't be my friend. I don't go to the gym. I bring the gym at home. I've always loved dancing, and I think this is one of the ways for you to sweat out. And shout out to my lovely mom, who I think is doing it right now. Ever wonder where she get that ever young looking? You got it. This is also the perfect time to learn new skills. Like, learn a new language. Learn baking. I've always loved bread. So instead of like buying them at the bakery shop, why not make it? Or get a free course online. You know, the internet has it all. And you know what it only takes for us to grab him? All of these wonderful resources? Time. So it's up to you whether you get him or not. They're just there, up for grabs. With so much time, the situation actually brought me back to one of the things that I'm really passionate about, and that is reading. And I guess you've probably heard of this person before, and he said that the more you know, the more you realize that you really don't know. I'm not sure which stage I am right now, but I think it'll take a lifetime for me to understand that. This outbreak actually led people to work at home and um, for me as a teacher, I don't only get to work remotely but at the same time, I also get some side hassles. It's a secret. I guess this is one of the most important lessons that we get out of this situation and that is to connect. Well, for me, it's even harder because I am miles away from my baby and my wife. So when we come out of this, eventually, the very first thing I'm going to do is to grab them and hug them tightly with all my heart. We may learn a lot of lessons out of this, but we should never ever forget this. In fact, we should also be doing it like more often as this is our tool for us to be connected, for us to be comforted and for us to get solace out of this. We should always call out to our Lord God 
so that he will put an end to this and so that everything goes back to the way they are. And for my dad, wherever you are, watch over us. That's it, you guys, and thank you for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. See ya.